My name's Tony Roseworski, and I'm the mayor of the city of Lafayette. Well, I was born and raised here in Lafayette. I was one of those lucky kids who knew uh, pretty early in life what they wanted to be, and I wanted to be a policeman. And so after high school, I went to a Ball State uh, University uh, to study criminal justice and corrections, and then I spent uh, my career as a uh, police officer here in the city of Lafayette. I was fortunate enough to run for city council and was elected for a term and then sought the office of mayor uh, for my first term and was just recently reelected. Nels and I met uh, several months ago when he was talking about running for this office. I was very impressed with Nels. I was very impressed with his grasp of the issues. I was very impressed with how well he seemed to know what was going on on the local level also and how that is affected by what happens in Washington, D.C. I was also touched by how much he seemed to care about people and how much he wanted to do the right thing, to lift everybody up, and to get this country moving in a direction that was good for all of us. I think people in our community vote for the person. I believe that, and I believe they'll vote for the person that they think will do the best job for them in Washington, D.C., and I believe that person is Nels Ackerson. Uh, I believe that he will work day in and day out to make our congressional district better, to make sure the concerns of the Lafayette citizens are heard. You know, I know for myself personally, at the end of the day, I ask myself this question. Did I do everything possible I could do today to make the city of Lafayette better? And I believe Nels Ackerson is the kind of man that at the end of each day will say, did I do everything today I could to make my congressional district better for the people I represent? Nels would be a tremendous congressman. He has that touch with people, uh, the touch that I like to have. He cares about each person individually and how that plays into his decisions collectively. And I think he'd, I know that he would go to Washington to do the right thing and think about everybody when he's in Washington, D.C., not just a select group of people, but everybody. And how does his decisions impact the day-to-day -day lives of the people in the communities that he represents.